Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from the greatest food show in all the land, put out by Kraft in 1982 and sent in by Nick. Thank you, Nick. We're going to be making the crunchy tuna sandwich. Yeah. Obviously, we start things off with a little flaked canned tuna, to which we add chopped hard-boiled egg, sweet pickles, and Miracle Whip. Get that combined. Next, we spread mustard onto one slice of bread. We put on a slice of Kraft American Singles, our tuna mixture, and a slice of bread. Oh, but we're not done. That's because we have to dip it in a mixture of beaten egg and milk, then press that into crushed up potato chips. Mm -hmm. Then bake that in a 350 degree oven for 15 minutes. You know what, while that sandwich is baking away, it's a good chance for me to remind you that Sandwiches of History, the cookbook, is coming out November 5th, but it's available for pre-order now. Plus, I'm hitting the road this fall for Sandwiches of History Live. I'm gonna be visiting Portland, Seattle, Los Angeles, New York City, San Francisco, and Chicago. Uh, to get tickets to the show, go to sandwichesofhistory.com slash live. All right, let's get back to the sandwich. Okay, let's give this crunchy tuna sandwich a go. I mean, in general, it's not terrible. I'm not the hugest fan of uh, sweet pickles. This isn't horrible, um, but it is definitely not something that I would necessarily put together because I'm not a big fan of Miracle Whip. I'm not a big fan of sweet pickles, um, but it's not bad. The melty cheese kind of bringing things together and the crunchiness of the outside from the potato chips. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I do want to plus it up a little. I'm going to add some pepperoncinis. I wanted something bright and tangy, but not spicy. Okay, let's give this crunchy tuna sandwich plussed up with pepperoncinis a go. That is nice. The uh, pickled pepperoncinis are adding a nice uh, contrast to the cheese and the Miracle Whip. It is definitely improved. All right, so the original crunchy tuna sandwich, it wasn't bad. Uh, it's interesting, the mustard kind of receded a little bit. It wasn't very uh, present, but you know, cheese is kind of like, it's almost like a tuna melt, or if you think about it. Tuna melt has mayonnaise, has cheese. This just had Miracle Whip and American cheese. Uh, the potato chips on the outside were a nice touch. I'm gonna give that a five and a half. Plus up with the pepperoncini, I think a six. Um, I'm definitely gonna finish that. I don't know that I would make this version again, but I might do a schmancier one using like Kewpie mayo and a, maybe some Swiss cheese and maybe some flavored potato chips on the outside. You know what? That's for another time. All right, see you tomorrow. <laughs>